Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to finalize our iRig. We're going to add pupil contraction and extraction shapes, improve the range of our eyelids using a custom deformer, as well as adjust our control shapes. I left a link below to the workshop library for this tutorial series in Mansurig's ArtStation profile, in case you want to follow along. These videos take a long time and big effort to create, so please subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you want to see more of them. Let's dive back in. I'm sure you've noticed in previous videos that our eyelid range is quite limited. Our eye socket is vertically elliptic and the current setup doesn't cover the entire range. So let's see what we can do to improve that. It's important to say that achieving the entire range of these eyelids using a skin cluster only will be extremely difficult. It is definitely possible to use a multi-layer joint grid setup, but in my opinion will prove too complicated to create and too heavy to animate. So we're going to take a different approach. We're going to use a custom deformer. Now of course this means that this deformer will not be game engine compatible since this deformer will work only in Maya. If you're ringing a character that you wish to export to a game engine at some point, you would probably want to skip this step. We're going to be using MNS Sphere Vector Push Node, which is included from version 1.3 onwards. This node is similar to Maya's Sculpt Deformer, but it has a few extra features and abilities. It is a very simple deformer that can push vertices from a given center position out and away in a spherical shape. We're going to use that to push the middle vertices of the eyelid around the eye to solve our intersections problem. I left a link below to the full demo if you want to find out more about it. To create it, we're going to be using Mansur Rig's Dynamic UI Creator. This is a very useful tool that will allow you to create a user interface to every single method within Mansur Rig's Python library. I'll launch the tool from the main menu and start typing MNS Sphere in the search line and locate MNS Sphere Vector Push Node method. I'll double click it to create the UI. Now, this UI is created dynamically based on the given method, so it is just a user friendly way to run Python methods visually instead of calling it using code. What I need to input here is very simple. I'll input my mesh and input the eyelid's module root joint as a center position. Also, I'll choose my head join as my attribute host, as the attributes will control both sides eventually. We will tweak a few more values after the creation. Let's run the method. I can see that the deformer was created on my mesh and all the relevant connections to it were made as well. I can now close the UI and the UI creation tool. Now I'll play with the radius attribute to see how this deformer behaves. As expected, the mesh is being pushed spherically from the selected center position, which is exactly what I need. I want to leave this deformer above the skin cluster node in order to push the eyelid's vertices after the skin deformation. Let's close the eye to find the best radius value. Great, it seems like we achieved full range for the eyelids. With that said, we see a new issue we need to address. The mesh is being pushed, but it is also slightly damaged at bind pose, since the deformer is pushing all vertices. To fix that, I can easily paint the deformer weight map to include only relevant vertices within the deformation. So I'll start by flooding the entire map to zero. Then, I'll add only the three most problematic loops into the deformation. That is an improvement, but we can also exclude the corners of the eye, since these aren't causing problems when closing the eye, but are still damaged by the deformer at bind pose.
Once I'm happy with the weights, I'll move back to bind pose and toggle the deformer's envelope to make sure the result is sufficient. There's still a slight movement, but I think it's negligible considering what we are gaining. Great, we now have full range to animate the eyelids freely. Let's move on and create our pupil shapes controls. We don't have an iris for this character, so we will need only the pupil shapes. I created the eye shapes in between videos by sliding a few edges. I created both side shapes, but we will connect the left shape only for now. So how can we plug them into the rig? Conveniently, we have a layer on our look at module that we used for our eye aim to allow us to plug our shapes. So let's deconstruct to add that in. As always, I can manually create the blend shape node for the eye mesh without worries, since my deformations are not harmed by blocks construction. Once I have a target, all I need to do is input it into the attribute. Block will do the rest. In case I want to control both eye shapes with a single attribute, I have an option to choose a host for the control attribute that will control the individual channels. I think I do want to use that, so I'll input my global eyes aim guide as the host. Once I'll symmetrize my modules, this channel will control both eye shapes. Let's construct and make sure we have everything we need. Awesome, it looks like we're finished with the eye setup. I'll quickly adjust all of my control shapes. As a last note, in case I'm not happy with the placements of my remote style controls, there is a control node above these controls which I can transform. Then, save default values that will restore the position I choose in the next iteration. Now I'll just extract the shapes to store them for my next iteration. And that's it, we're all done. Once again, I highly encourage you to load this workshop and play around with this iRig. It is extremely dynamic and robust and includes many more features I simply don't have time to include in these videos. Let's conclude this video here and move on to the next video, where we will rig the eyebrows. Please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any tutorials coming in the future. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.